Robert Hale. Thanks for joining us for the Cattleman's Corner. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. And this would be a good time to remind you to visit cattlemanscorner.com for a bull sale calendar lineup. There's a lot going on at cattlemanscorner.com. Cattlemen's Corner TV, Cattlemen's Corner Podcasts, Livestock Management Software, Auction Software, and Cattle for Sale. And if you need a cattle website, we can help you there too. Visit cattlemanscorner.com. Let's take a look at Tuesday's cattle report. This is American Farm Bureau Federation's economist, Bert Nelson. All cattle and calves in the United States on January 1 were estimated at 89.3 million head. This was 3% lower than this time in 2022. And this is the lowest inventory since USDA's 88.2 million estimate in 2014. The calf crop came in at 34.5 million. This is down 2% from last year. The calf crop is really important because it kind of sets the tone for what supplies will be like. If you look at August or October feeder cattle, for example, we're seeing prices really jump. And as we look at those, that futures market is really telling us that these cattle supplies will become more important as we get into the later deferred months. So taking that into consideration, that really gives us a feel for the fact that we're tight on cattle supplies this year. We've seen prices kind of dropping back off a little bit as inflation has kind of set back a little bit. However, we have kind of eaten into some of our red meat supplies. If we take a look at cold storage and it's started to decrease a little bit, but there's still a lot of beef in cold storage. We're still well ahead of last year. That was American Farm Bureau Federation economist Bert Nelson. Thanks again for listening and may God bless. I'm Brian Hale.